In this equation, we have a neutralization reaction. We have an acid, H2SO4, sulfuric acid, plus magnesium hydroxide, which is a base, and we get water and a salt. The salt is MgSO4. To balance the equation, let's count the atoms up. We have two hydrogens, and then I have this SO4, it's called the sulfate, and I have an SO4 here. Sulfate is a polyatomic ion. It stays together fairly well in chemical reactions. So I'm just gonna say SO4, and I have one of them. This will help me a lot later on. I have one magnesium, and then I have an OH here, but I don't have one over here. So I'm just gonna count up the oxygens and the hydrogens here. So I have my one magnesium oxygen. I have two applies to this whole thing. So two times the one, that's two. And then I notice that I have the two hydrogens as well. So I have these two plus these two. So I have four hydrogen atoms. We'll do the same thing over here on the products. Hydrogens, we have two, we don't have any more. Sulfates, we have our one SO4 group, one magnesium, and then one oxygen. Why don't we start by balancing the hydrogens? We have four here and two here. We can put a coefficient of two in front of the H2O. So for the oxygens, we have one times two. We have to do that. And that's kind of nice, that works out. And then the hydrogens, two times two, that equals four. And that means that this equation is balanced. We have the same number of each type of atom on each side of the equation. The trick here is if you have this SO4 here and you have SO4s here, you can just count them as one thing and that makes the balancing a lot easier. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for H2SO4 plus MgOH2 yields H2O plus MgSO4. Thanks for watching.